सो वाई आर यू सो एक्साइटेड अबाउट डे विलनर स्टॉक टूडे इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक ट्वेंटी सिक्स अक्टूबर नाइनटीन एटी फोर आई वॉज जस्ट वन ईयर्स ओल्ड बट समथिंग वेरी बिग हैपन इन बास्केटबॉल माइकल जॉर्डन प्लेड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड देन ही चेंज द गेम टूडे द गेम इज नोन बिकॉज ऑफ माइकल जॉर्डन बास्केटबॉल Dave has done exactly that. See, you and I have been working in the space of online safety since 2010. Since 2016, we've been working with all the big techs. We've been to San Francisco, New York, multiple meetings, and every time we used to think, why is content moderation so difficult? And we had little little points. If you listen to his talks, even for you and for Pratishtha and for Arnika, the whole social and media matters team, we will think, yes, aha, this is why. we know how bad content moderation is we know it yeah. you fight with me every day i have reported this why is this not removed this is a normal thing in our lives dave has pointed out one of them in perfect in in perfection like yours like sunita's like ankur's that perfection he says it very clearly how bad we are at content moderation and he is somebody who has worked for meta for many years he is now at stanford he is not an activist he is not somebody just making comments he is talking about data this speech mind my words vikram is going to change how content moderation is done from this way onwards all right uh, what have you said i completely get it so what is it what does it mean for the industry so for the industry in like we do it in in one line it is artificial intelligence for content moderation has arrived it is needed and we can do it these are the three top lines now i will tell you from a very different perspective how does content moderation happen right now you see something wrong you report it it goes to a human and he sees it right at the end of it in the middle there's a little bit of technology dave clearly points out a few points firstly the last person and think about it from another work that you and i know which is police end of the line end of the line it's the constable who goes on the field so the constable is the content moderator in content moderation least paid no salary very little qualified you know we come from jnu we live in gurgaon we know the buildings where these boys go most of them have barely passed 12th they are not very smart okay they don't get paid a lot many of them are in india about 500000 maybe even more and now he talks about something very important they do this job only for 9 months because they can't take it their mental health is messed up if you constantly watch violence brutal violence and you know it is real no human can take it right this is like manual scavenging which happens in india no matter what you do you give them gloves you give them a mask you give them a helmet yeah. it is a shitty job at the end of the day so what is happening content moderators are changing every 9 months now think about it think about that you have trained a person you have told them about the policy but they go after 9 months then a new person comes so quality will automatically fall okay point number 1 very low quality point number 2 very very bad for mental health every content moderator is crying they are suing the companies they are suing companies which are bpos and they are working for them and there are big lawsuits this job is not meant for humans it's a bad job all right technology today like it has advanced it can do it far better than every human because it is not emotional it does not get tired every time it will run the same process so for artificial intelligence it is very easy to understand community guidelines and terms and conditions better than a human who's only done this job for what 9 months yeah. and that person is not highly educated even the highly educated one back in the day yeah. were not good he has given an example of four stanford uh, graduates trying to find csam child sexual abuse material very easy to find mm. very clear it's almost like black and white even we without training can find it in 2 seconds true but when they used to send it to necmec the agency in us yeah only 40% of the times they agreed necmec used to say this is not csam so coming from the field what dave is saying is humans are not meant for it because it's bad for humans because they are bad at the job technology can do it a lot better we can make it we can build it provided we spend money and time on it so for the industry what i see and there are many things which have happened this is like a perfect storm what happened after covid 
many people got fired in San Francisco. Who were these people? These were our friends from Trust and Safety. 80% of the friends we know were jobless after COVID. Then what happened? Many laws came. Digital Services Act in the United States. Now what will happen is artificial intelligence experts will team up with trust and safety experts and they will build solutions. And it's a great day because we can finally build good solutions because technology is there. I mean, you are a techie, you are a big believer of technology. Yeah. Technology is there, trust and safety professionals are there, intent is there. Now we just have to marry this and create great technology. All right then, if I give you a magic wand, what will be your three top priorities for India? Okay, so in India, you know, we've been doing this work for many big tech companies. So we've been doing a lot of research, you and I, Pratishtha, Arnika, all of us together. I think the three biggest priorities right now, and we are at the end of March because elections are coming. Number one is dangerous individuals and dangerous organizations spreading malicious content. This could be against religion. This could be about caste. They have different names. They are Bahubalis, they are gangsters. Why? Because elections are coming. If they get views, some or the other political party will hire them and get them votes. So this is going to increase. It's going to spike on all these short video format uh, platforms. Why? Again, because these dangerous people are not highly educated. The people they are talking to is a very simple message. It's like a Bollywood film, Tollywood film. It's like that violent film. So that should be the priority. Uh, number two, misinformation. You've done a video about it. Uh, World Economic Forum has said it. All of us know. In fact, last night, the government came out with a ruling about fake news. So, misinformation, fake news, disinformation is a very big problem anyways. It's going to spike because elections are coming. So, till the final voting, if anybody has energy and time and uh, capability, we need to fight against misinformation to save the Indian democracy. It doesn't matter who wins. Any party can win. Any leader should, every leader should win. But the process should be democratic. It should be well informed. You should choose whoever you like, but on facts, not on lies. And third, which is a problem in the internet, and we saw it on the last day of January, which is uh, child sexual abuse material and child exploitative material. What does this mean? It, it means abuse material, self-harm, uh, drugs, cyberbullying, sextortion. These problems are not problems of adults anymore. In fact, children are being targeted by gangs. So in India also, these would be my top three priorities. In fact, these are our top three priorities um, in social and media matters. And I would request everybody who watches this video, if you're a techie, social worker, or have one extra minute, try to solve this problem. So knowing you, I think the action has already started. Is that true? Yes, yes, yes. Action has definitely started. Dave's talk was just another energizer. But uh, we have already done a lot of research on misinformation. So we know it from the ground. A lot of research, uh, a lot of tech research has gone into CSAM and CSEA led by Arnika and working on caste and dangerous individuals led by you. So the research has been done. Now we are collaborating with some really cool artificial intelligence boys from IIIT, H, Digvijay Singh. Diggy is somebody who's leading that initiative and we are building tools. We've already done demos. So I think by the time uh, this video is edited and it comes out, maybe we even have good news that people will be using it. So work in this space, what Dave is talking about, and that's why I'm so excited about his talk. We have already started. In fact, we started it nine months back. Now we have reached the product stage. So uh, many, many, many updates to come in the coming few days. Okay. And uh, any last few words to the camera? Uh, yeah, internet is awesome. Let's, let's remove all the dirt. Uh, I, we will put the link to Dave's talk. And if Dave watches it, bro, uh, big thanks, lots of love and literally from all of us in the trust and safety community. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the mission of Social and Media Matters, Contrails, IGPP, Artificial Intelligence Knowledge Consortium, Emerging Tech Council of India, everything that we are a part of, the mission is the same. We love technology and we just want to make it safer for everybody, especially uh, children, women, LGBTQI community. Yeah, that's it. You heard him. 